A lot of eyes have, like you said, have really been on this particular race. We have Marsha Blackburn running against Phil Bredesen for that open Senate seat. We're starting to really deal with the aftermath of all of that, including this massive sinkhole. It froze <laughs> to the wall. So if this is not proof enough that it is just very, very cold outside today, I don't know what else is. If you are sticking around Knoxville for the Thanksgiving holiday and after, a lot of cool things are starting down here in Market Square. You can see behind me that there's still a good bit of water out here. It's going down slowly but surely. A runaway barge brought to a stop by a tugboat here in Loudoun County right along the Tennessee River. They're letting out water, water from the bottom. Oh yeah, instead you can see that. Top. Okay. It's coming from the top. Right, that would be spilling. After one accident this morning, it took teams of crews all day long working to get this scene cleaned up. He says they hope to have construction finished and this open by spring of 2020. The holidays can get very busy, very chaotic, but it's important to remember it's still the season of giving. Welcome back. Wearable tech gadgets are changing the game in both fashion and technology. But now a new study shows Apple Watches may be able to take it just one step further. They could also save your life. Each December, we remember their sacrifice through wreaths across America. Flu isn't packing quite the punch it did last winter at this time. Kyle, what can Santa expect when he flies into East Tennessee? Well, he'll fly through a few clouds tonight. It wasn't likely much of a break as the federal government remains partially shut down. He just and then just he changes his commit, mind. Just <laughs> go backtrack. You had it. He was you had so it. close. <laughs> this is Mary Gorman's new home in Carable. This is her new piece of furniture. Well, I bought these dressers off of some guy on the side of the road. But nothing is new. A little piece of paper about what she found inside. I just flipped them over and started looking up inside of it, and something caught my attention. Shoved in there. There you go. I've included my picture, and we'll send you a better one sometimes when school starts. Sorry, Love letters, decades old. So this one's from June 15th, 1964. Sent from Louisville, Indiana from a 14-year-old girl to an 18-year-old boy uh, in Coryton, Tennessee. I've been to the Girl Scout camp trip. It was real hot that day, and the insects were awful. Daddy is thinking about selling his hogs. We probably won't sell all of them, but I hope you won't miss me too much. The handwriting is hard to read. Mary can't even make out the names. It looks like this has been pulled out a lot more, but this is the letter where it talks about love. It seems Mary inherited a mystery with her new dresser, and now she has so many questions. Did she marry him? Did she ever see him again? Did he hide those for a reason? I mean, there had to be a reason that he hid these letters. It's not often that you have to hide a letter from somebody or something or just something that you pulled out and read all the time because uh, your heart did fall for her. I'm just curious, whatever happened to the two of them? Did she ever come back to Tennessee? Now in her new home with her new dresser and a fresh mystery, Mary is looking for answers and hoping for new leads. In Caraval, Sarah Wilder, WBLT News. It was to the gutters, so right to the top of the main level. A Loudoun County home flooded. Just um, shocking again. It was just kind of like surreal. Now that the water has gone down, Suzanne and her husband are seeing what's left of their home. It's slick, yeah. so be careful. We walk through her house and our boots even stuck to the floor. Wood floors, they're gone. <laughs> Stuff everywhere. What 24 hours worth of water can do to a place is wow. amazing. So, I think that's what I was saying yesterday about my husband building it. So you kind of see it being pieced together a little at a time and everything just kind of comes together at the end. And then in a day, it looks like it's been here a hundred years. So it's sad, but it's okay. I mean, it's, it happens. Furniture rearranged, paint peeling off the walls, windows broken. It just lifted everything up. Yeah, I mean, that, that's been held up by a nightstand, it looks like, mm -hmm. and um, an elliptical. 
but Suzanne and her family are just happy everyone is safe. They're good. They're fine. Yeah, everybody's good. They haven't been down here, but I still think they'll, they'll be okay. So what happens now? Well, they say that Tima is going to be coming through to assess the damage in the property. But as you can see here in Loudoun County, there's still a good bit of water out here in the streets. That's actually a road right behind me. But one thing I really have to draw attention to is I've been in quite a few homes over the last couple of days that are flooded, might have flooded basements, things like that. And it's amazing to see just how positive and strong some of these families are during hard times like this. It's sort of scary when when I first seen it, it I was afraid somebody was dead in it. This is what homeowner Ralph Lee woke up to around 3 o'clock Saturday morning. A car lodged upside down into the front porch of his South Knoxville home. I slept through it all. Now, Ralph is a little shy, but he was happy to tell us what he went through, just didn't want his face on camera while he did. They hit that tree right there on the side, and I'd say that's what got them airborne. The crash happened early Saturday morning down Avenue A when the driver loses control of the vehicle, clears the fence, clips the tree, goes airborne for about 35 to 40 feet, and comes to a stop right in the front porch of Mr. Lee's home. People think this A Avenue is straight strip through here. They think that's a racetrack. Now the work to repair the damages begin, and when we got to the house today, that's exactly what Ralph was working on. I have to take the whole porch out and redo it, because there has to be some boards underneath that it's, uh, it's, uh, broke, because the porch is sort of wavy. The night of the crash, David Lee was the tow truck driver. He responded to the call. He says it was unlike anything he's seen before. The layout here, I mean, you would not in a million years expect something like this to happen. Such an unbelievable sight and situation that David's leading the way to help get this house fixed up. I'm trying to get, you know, volunteers for laborers, contractors, whatever we can get, and especially materials and money is the biggest thing to buy materials. As you can see, there's, it's a mess back there. And while we were at the house, a man from the area stopped by to give Ralph some cash, not wanting any credit for it, just to show he cares and helps here. Our elders is what's taught us where we are today and have gave us these good morals, and I think it's time for them to see them come full circle. In South Knoxville, Sarah Wilder, WVLT News.